there are seven critical rules to understanding people. And that's something a lot of people suffer with. I used to suffer with a huge amount of social anxiety, especially in social environments with friends or with actual relationships. I struggled for years with this. But after hearing these seven things, you might not struggle with it as much as you are right now. And if you don't suffer with social anxiety, you might just come to understand people a lot better than you think. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. First of all, I hope you've been good. I hope things have been alright. We've got an inside vid today because it's super, super windy outside. It's currently 6am. Uh, so we're gonna, this is my indoor coffee vid. I've got my, I've got my dirty bean water with me, so. The first one is people are mainly focused on themselves. We are focused on ourselves. You know, sometimes I'm in a social environment and I'm really stressing about what people are thinking of me, even though that relatively people only spend a small amount of time actually judging you. Your self judgment is overwhelmingly larger of what people are actually spending time on thinking about you. And then there's comes the sort of like feeling of that, oh, but I, uh, what if I'm not invited to stuff? And that was one big thing for me, not being invited to stuff. And then I'd see my friendship group going off and do their own thing. Relationships are your job to maintain. Don't just wait to be invited. It's a two way system. The second one is explicit social behaviors. Our behavior is usually the key to how we're actually feeling. Most of the intention behind our actions and our behaviors are hidden. If someone that you know is feeling depressed or angry, how their behavior is, you can be empathetic and find out what their true feeling is right there. For example, if I do it on myself, I was angry and pissed off that I was excluded from the group, that I wasn't invited, but in reality, the reason I was angry, if I actually like started thinking about it, like, okay, why am I pissed off? It's because I was worried about being alone. I didn't like the feeling of being alone. So I wasn't really angry. The third one, our feelings are not explicit. Most of the time, when we are upset, when we are down, when we are angry, most of the time, people do not know how we feel. Other people will have no idea how we are feeling, so we cannot get angry at them for not reacting to that, because they don't know. There are times where I've been in like where I used to work in a, a restaurant, and my boss was telling me certain things, and it kind of got onto the point where it started pissing me off, and I didn't, I just didn't enjoy work, but he didn't know that. I didn't word anything out, so he didn't know that what he was doing was annoying. So I ended up talking to him calmly, of course. I didn't just square up to him and be like, hey, yo, you fucking pissing me off. And I, um, no, I obviously I talked to him calmly saying that like, look, your advice is great, but you're really, really critical. and It's kind of sucking. The next one is selfish altruism. This one's a really interesting one because it's something I don't think a lot of people know about, but we all 100% do it. And the moment I tell you what it is, you'll know what I'm talking about. Selfish altruism is basically when you helping someone else directly or indirectly helps you. And because you helping someone else, you know that it will help you in the, in the end, your behavior is largely dictated by it. And by understanding this sort of motive, you can sort of start appealing to almost the selfish needs of people, like, like knowing that they are helping you because they want this. For example, when I was at uh, working in a restaurant, there were times she was, I would, she, it was really, really quiet, but I would then go and do everything that needed to be done. I would sort out everything that needs to be prepared for the evening. And then um, she would be like, oh, do you want to go home? Because I did all this to help her, but <clears throat> ultimately it's because I, it's because I knew that she was going to send someone home and I wanted to get everything done to help her so she could kind of help me go home quicker. Next one is people are forgetful. By nature, people have a very forgetful memory. That's why names are so hard to remember. If someone forgets something or forgets your name or just forgets anything really, don't take it to heart. Don't take it as like a disin disinterest in you, as, a, as hostility, as they don't like you. People are forgetful by nature. Like there have been times where I've like met a new group of people and then 
they've kind of like forgotten my name and they're like oh what's your name again i'm like you couldn't remember <laughs> am i do you not like me and in reality they just genuinely forgot the next one is we are all emotional beings don't assume that someone is perfectly fine just because they're not having an emotional breakdown everyone has their own problems that's the main like attribute that you should get from this point is that everybody has their own issues to deal with whether they show it on the surface or not maybe you're in that friendship group and you're really nervous or socially anxious about whether you're participating to the group i bet you there's a 90 percent chance that someone else in that group is feeling the exact same way as you you're not alone we're all emotional human beings and the last one this is something that really sort of relates with me and that is suffering from loneliness we are social animals to begin with and that very fact mean facts means that when anyone is suffering from loneliness we are it's a great threat like we really feel threatened when we are ostracized or excluded however the downside is the downside is a lot of people are lonely finding good friends nowadays is hard but maybe you're in that friendship group and you're worried about being excluded every single one of that person in that friendship group is afraid of the same thing we're social animals to begin with you're not alone all these feelings that you're feeling right now with social anxiety or the fact that you just want to get to know people better you're not alone everyone is feeling the same thing and the good thing is is that not everybody is so focused on you a lot of people are focused on themselves and that's where a lot of this self-worry comes from this self-judgment Hopefully that after hearing this, after this video, it's helped you a little bit understand this a little bit, a little bit better. And it's quite, it was quite an impactful, like, it was a very detailed video. Uh, I did, I did a bunch of research on this because I've recently got really back into reading. Um, so if you want, you can save this and just like come back to it at another point or write down the, some notes from this video. Hopefully this video helped you out and I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the one that's going to pop up on my face because this could help you out as well. And if you're not subscribed to me, there's a high chance that you will never, ever find this channel again. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah. Seven Proven Kiss.